Yo, 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 on a little road trip today to see some guitars. I'm going to Bristol Guitar Show and I thought it'd be interesting to film it, just see what's there. I'm predicting we're going to see old people looking at old guitars. I'm predicting I'm going to see lots of stuff I want to buy and can't buy. I'm predicting there'll be someone, in fact, I'm predicting lots of people playing lots of pentatonic scales. Um, nothing wrong with that because that's pretty much all I use just bending a few notes here and there. Let's get going always wear your seatbelt um, Let's see what's happening. I've never been to a guitar show. So is that, That's quite weird actually all these years. I've been playing guitar. I've never been to a guitar show So yeah, let's see what it's like in Bristol. Let's go So we've arrived um, This guy's obviously very happy to be at this event we're gonna go in. It's at Bristol City Football Ground. So, interestingly, the first place I ever saw a football match in. So, when I was a child. So this would be interesting. Let's see what we got inside. Anyway, guitar-wise, let's go. Right. We're gonna start with the most expensive guitar in the building, probably. What is it? <laughs> it is this one, isn't it? spot the left-handed guitar <laughs> and we're also gonna play start drinking every time you hear a pentatonic scale <laughs> size as well like that's quite cool yeah and they do lift how do you lift them they, they do um, clip, but yeah i don't want them balanced i don't want to oh, like accidentally try not to break it yeah oh, no I, I don't want to break it oh there you go Look at this. I've 
I've never heard of them. Patrick Eggle? Yeah. Oh, there they are. So this is Munson Guitars. Custom guitars, pretty awesome. By the way, this is the only left-handed guitar he's got. It's, it's got the ghost pickups, <laughs> the ghost string system. Um, there's no hum, just no nothing. This. This, What's this, is, called? this is the Munson Marauder. Marauder. In a forest teal colour. I like it. Uh, gold bare knuckle humbuckers. Push pull parts to split the coils. It's got Goto staggered locking tuners. Look at that lock. I like the, uh, the, the bare wood and the teal. Yeah, we just thought we did something a bit different there. The other big thing we've changed is you've got M5 machine bolts bolt the neck on with brass inserts rather than a wood screw so nice. you can take the neck off as many times as you like. So it's going to stay, yeah. Yeah, and make it nice and tight and even. I like it. And uh, like I said to Stu and John, Teal, you're already winning. Teal for the win. Teal for the win. <laughs> Let's get that. I like this wood as well. Two. Step away. <laughs> uh, was it here? Uh, the, your, the left hand one. What was it? 62. 62. 62. Amazing. You've still got quite a lot of red in the first, isn't it? Yeah. There's a Jaguar, there's a 64 Jaguar, it looks like it was still painted yesterday. Yeah, Amazing. I saw one earlier, yeah, that was all the Thank you for no getting that out, appreciate it. Just discovered these guitars as well today. You can build your own. PG All the guitars <laughs> 2015 Look at it <laughs> sparkly Okay, so I just got back from the Bristol Guitar Show 2022. It was it was good to see lots of different guitars. There were lots of boutique guitars, 
lots of vintage guitars, loads of makes I'd never heard of before. Um, hopefully you'll see the video, so some of the different guitars that, that were there. I don't know how good the footage is because I've not looked at it back and I wasn't really paying loads of attention when I was filming to be fair. But I've got a couple of things to show you that I quite like. So there are these amazing pedal boards um, made by Alder and Ash, independent company, well worth a look. Um, there were these Maybury guitars, and the reason I like that is because it was, well, they had, they had stickers, so automatically they win. Um, <laughs> but well worth a look as well. Um, saw um, Patrick Eggle guitars, which apparently are really popular, but I'd never heard of them before. And we went to a demo there, and me and my friend pretty much went deaf for a short while after hearing this person play lots of heavy stuff and the speaker was literally in front of us. I, I think I filmed a bit actually. So yeah, good way to get deafened was uh, via uh, Eggle guitar. But yeah, we saw those, they were amazing. There were some really cool, I think they were called Crimson guitars. They were, all these brands were on the same kind of section. Um, again, lots of boutique guitars, and they were amazing. Um, and obviously we saw the Munson guitars, my old school friend and his dad making their own guitars, and I managed to play that one upside down. <laughs> I held a left-handed guitar that didn't have any pickups or strings, which is probably how most people would like me to actually play guitar, but um, I, I played an upside down one. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It was cool to see lots of different um, new brands coming through, and some of the vintage ones were amazing. Like some of the, the Strats and the old um, there was a Gretsch White Falcon, and the the Les Paul tucked away in a in a cupboard for years was amazing. A bit unfortunate that there were only about five or six left-handed guitars. Um, I know, you know, people don't like to cater for us cack-handed guitarists, but it'd be nice to see a few more left handers in the future and also there weren't an awful lot of accessories and pedals and things like that which I was kind of hoping there were more um, you know guitar straps plectrums things like that just little bits and pieces good string winders you know just custom things like that so it'd be nice to go to another show where there might be some more things like that but otherwise it was cool to catch up with some old friends it was a nice day and yeah Nice to get a little bit geeky over some guitars, but not too geeky because otherwise it's like you may as well speak um, Chinese to me. I don't have a clue what, what goes on up to a point. <laughs> but yeah, it catered for people who just like to look at guitars and also the extreme guitar nerds who know where a certain type of wire within a pickup comes from. <laughs> so yeah, well worth a look at future guitar shows. I might see if I can go to some bigger ones and also there's proof that I went there. <laughs> a guitar headstock on my hand. Hope you got a feel for what the event was like. Let us know if you've been to any guitar shows around the country and which ones might be worth going to because it would be good for me to know that. Um, but yeah, well done Bristol. Good job and good to, uh, to get out and about with the homies. So yeah, take it easy y'all.